So let's talk about following the progress of your Inkscape SVG file through the Cloud Blender, or as I termed, the Clender, okay? So the Clender, uh, what does that process look like? Well, <laughs> this is it, let's talk about this. So the first thing is you're gonna submit your uh, SVG via the Cloud Form, which you did in the previous video. Um, and then you should immediately, within a minute or two, um, get a Google Drive folder that your share email is received. That should happen pretty quick. If you don't get that pretty quick, there's probably something wrong with the Clender. Um, and then just post something to email or to, to uh, the uh, Discord if not. Now I'm gonna say there's gonna be a lot of emails received as part of this progress, keeping you up to date on what's going on. Do not reply to them. Do not expect to reply to any of those emails, okay? Um, if you have any issues, post them in Blender in the appropriate section. Um, so when you get that Google Drive folder and you receive that, um, open that up and make sure you can access that shared folder. There should be a link in there um, and I'll show you that in a couple minutes, uh, but you should be able to access that folder. It's going to open up a Google Drive and there's going to be some information there. And as it's going through the process, progress, you can follow the, uh, the files in there and, and see what's going on. I'll show you some of that stuff. Um, those shared folders, do not, I would say, get your, once everything's done, get your stuff out of there um, because those will get a, a deleted eventually. I don't know at this point, we don't know how long that's gonna be. It might be three months, but bottom line is if, if that Google Drive starts filling up, they're gonna start deleting stuff out of there. So don't rely on that for long-term storage. Get your stuff out. Um, you can check that folder for process status. So if things get queued, if your course is queued, if it's a busy night or a busy day and a lot of people are trying to process courses through the Clender. Um, it'll say queued in there or it'll say processing and you can refresh it and, and see what's going on. So, you know, take a look in there. But once you come out of queue or after a few minutes uh, as things start to get set up for that, that file to be processed, you'll get another email that says your processing has begun. And the subject line will be your SVG is processing. Again, don't reply to the email. It's useless, pointless, doesn't do you any good. Then, um, as soon as your, uh, that your file begins processing, the first thing the Clender does is do some pre-cut checks. The pre-cut checks are checking things like your bunkers and your water, mainly things with an inner and outer blend. And if you remember, if you paid attention during the Inkscape theory and tutorials, those are very peculiar, very picky shapes. And if you do anything funky in there, like double nodes or sharp corners, all the stuff I said don't do, it'll find those in there and it'll air out and processing will stop and you'll get an email that said, your course failed the pre-cut checks, you need to fix these things. So you'll get an email about that with some information. So you'll need to follow that to fix those shapes. Um, if it does process those shapes, your course continues on to, or your SVG continues on to cutting. Um, so you'll get another email that says, hey, we're starting to cut your shapes. All right, that is probably the longest part of the process. And depending how big your course is, depending how long those shapes are cut. If you did a hole or two, it might only take a minute or two to cut your shapes. However, I've had courses that are very complex take 20, 25 minutes, okay? So be patient. Um, I would say if it's taking longer than 45 minutes to cut, um, you know, shoot something out on Discord and say if there's something, just check the, check the progress of the cleanser, see if the cleanser is working. Um, after your shapes are cut, they'll do a post-cut check. However, if that check fails, the processing will continue. It's just really a notification that you should look even closer at the file, and I'll show you guys how to do this. But if it fails post-cut, that could be a false positive, and it might actually was, it might have been okay. But you should take a close look at that, what we call the cut blend file, and make sure that it looks all right. And we'll talk about that later on. But you'll get an email about that. Um, and you wanna check it. Honestly, if even if it says it cut correctly, I would I still check that file. You know, um, go in and take a close look at it, make sure everything looks okay. And I know at this point in the stage, you have no idea <laughs> what means if it looks okay. But we'll talk about that. Then after your, your shapes are, are cut, they are meshed. So what that is, it's like, a mesh is what we do is we're dividing your shapes so that they have little tiny triangles in them. And those triangles essentially will allow that mesh later on to conform to your terrain. So that's what meshing is. Meshing does not take as long as, as cutting, um, but after it's meshed, again, it'll check for errors and it might have possible errors. 
those could be false positive as well. But when it's done meshing, um, an email is also set, sent, but you want to inspect that file. That file, that mesh file is ultimately what you're gonna use and download into Blender and use later on to conform. Um, but we wanna take a look at the cut and the mesh, okay? The cut um, ultimately isn't used anymore. It's just used to create your meshes, but you really wanna take a close look at both of them, okay? Um, but the bottom line is, do not expect a reply from any of those emails, all right? They are just automated emails. So what a successful, a perfect, and I want to say perfectly successful Clender process looks like is here. So the bottom line here, this open platform, this is the first email you're going to receive. And it's going to say folder shared with you and your email address. And, it's, and that's where the one you're going to open up and you're going to look at the Google Drive to see if you can look inside that that share drive okay then um, a couple minutes later or you might say um, you might get if you look inside this is a picture of the google drive if your course is queued because there's other people in the queue you might you have this queued folder in here all right now of course all this stuff is subject to change as these tools progress um, so your things might look a little bit differently so don't don't panic if they do but this means if you get once you get the email that says your SVG is processing, it means the Clender process is kicking off and it's doing its uh, pre-cut checks. OK, now, if your pre-cut checks are successful, and in this case they were, you'll get a cutting your SVG email, which means now that your shapes, are, your SVG is being cut. Um, and this is probably typically, probably typically, that's some good language there, the longest part of the process okay cutting if that went through flawlessly you'll get an SVG successfully cut again that was flawless it could have an error but remember that error could be a false positive um, and it might say some errors but continuing to meshing but in this case it didn't it was perfect it went through and it said no errors detected while cutting and it said now we moved on to meshing and now meshing it said successfully meshed your SVG. After this successfully meshed your SVG, it essentially is done. You can go into the Google Share and you'll be able to look at your cut blend file and your uh, uh, mesh blend file and download those and look at them inside of Blender. So I want to show you guys uh, what a normal course is going to look like here. Uh, so here is 15. Okay, yes. So I just want to make sure I got the right one here. Sorry. So I got my open platform, my Google Drive share. This is what it looks like. And if I open this up, now this is completely done. And I have, I've processed multiple courses. So I've got a folder for every course I'm kind of working on and some things I'm experimenting with. If it's your first one, you'll just have one folder. But I know the one I did is this Hershey Country Club tutorial. And you can see I've got a completed folder. This is after it's all done, okay? Um, and I can have some errors in here. We'll take a look at those. But this is the share folder. Now, the next thing I received is my SVG is processing. That's what this email looks like, which means it is starting to go through the Clender process. Then it passed my pre-cut checks. So since it passed those, remember, if it fails a pre-cut check, the process stops, it is done. It'll send you some errors, and it can send you some shapes that you need to fix. However, if it passes those, it starts cutting your SVG, which is this email, which happened at 8.15 p.m. So to give you an idea here, um, the folder share was sent at 8.10. It started processing. There was no queue in this case. It started processing four minutes later. If there's a queue, that could take longer. Um, it started cutting my SVG uh, a minute after that. So it, it completed my pre-cut checks in about a minute. That did not take very long at all. And there aren't a terrible lot of bunkers or water on this. So that could take a few minutes if you have a lot of bunkers or a lot of water. Then it took cutting your SVG from there. It took, looks like about 11 minutes to cut. Okay. That was actually pretty quick. I've seen these sometimes take 20 minutes. Um, and this is a pretty big course. So I would say, you know, give your course, be patient for 20 or 30 minutes, depending how busy things are. So then it was successfully cut. Again, it gives you another link into the Google folder, but this one will take you directly into it. Um, we'll come back there in a second. Uh, but then after it cut, it said SVG successfully cut. 
Then it said possible errors. You, so it said it, it did a post cut check and it said, hey, there's possible errors. Um, and again, it says we proceed to the next step because some of these detected errors are false positives. OK, so remember that. So just read this information. There's some good documentation in here on what to potentially fix or what causes this. I know in this case, because I've done this course before, this is a false positive in this case. Um, but then it says it's moving on towards meshing. And then it only took, let's see here, it took about 11 minutes for it to mesh and then successfully meshed your SVG. Um, and it's saying, hey, make sure you review this. It meshed, it, 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 you want to review this. Um, it didn't give me any errors. Uh, please review your mesh and make sure things check good. Actually, I think at this point we might have removed the post mesh error checking because it was error prone. Um, but again, we go in here, we can click, we go in into the Google Drive folder that was shared with us. We can go into debug errors and you can see in here there's a bunch of things. So one is the SVGs that it thinks it th thought it aired out on, which is one is my outer deep and one is my whole 99. Um, those are probably the most common ones that are going to be false positives. Um, it'll give us some CSV files, which will give us, um, there were no pre-cut errors, there was no mesh errors in this case, so it is doing a, a mesh error check, and it gives me my pre-post-cut errors. Okay, remember after cutting, it does a check, and it'll give me, in this case, um, I should download this and open it, but you can see that open up, it's got my whole 99 and my outer deep as possible the possible post cut errors so if i was going to go in there and look at any shapes that have issues it would be those two now i do know that these are false positives because i've already done this course now let's go back here again and go into completed and you can see i've got three files in here i've got my original svg that i uploaded i've got my post my my cut blend file and my mesh blend file um, I'm going to end up, and I'll do this in, in a subsequent video here, I'm going to download both of these and inspect them rather closely. So bottom line is, I just want to show you guys potentially some timelines of things. So be patient when you submit these. I would say overall, if things aren't moving along, at, you know, after 20, 30 minutes or an hour, post something to Discord and just see if anyone knows if the uh, cleanser is up and running.